Hello, if you're actually seeing this video, then I need you to understand that my daughter is nearly four and this is her first birthday smash cake. It's taken me that long to finish putting together these clips, which is so funny. I'm just so happy that it's out there in the world now. So if anyone needs help making their own baby smash cake, then I'm happy to make your acquaintance and assistance. I had a lot of fun making this. I want to approach sharing this video with a massive disclaimer that I am not a baker. My cooking abilities I feel very capable but baking I never properly successfully completed anything. If that's your cue to click off this video then trust me I absolutely get it but don't judge too quick because this ended up turning out incredibly. This turned out perfectly so it is foolproof. <laughs> This video is broken up into two. One is making of the marzipan, which was so simple and easy. I feel like now that I've done it once, I can go back to this recipe time and time again. Super simple with the coconut flour, the sugar, or in this case, the monk fruit, which is completely even diabetes approved. I wanted to make this cake sugar free because I didn't want to give my baby any sugar she's never had sugar up until this point I didn't really see a reason why she needed to even have it now though heck, I there might be something that I don't even know about monk fruit and it could have its own element of not being good because that's sort of how this game goes in the sweet field but for as much as I could find and look into monk fruit seemed pretty legit my version of the marzipan is completely sugar, refined sugar and gluten free, it's completely vegan as well. And then for the cake, if you just swap the flour to rice flour, then it's the exact same. I did use all purpose flour for my daughter's cake, but incredibly simple switcheroo and you've got yourself a gluten free, vegan, sugar free cake. I really hope that this helps you. I have heard a bit about how like red food coloring is a bit intense for kids or something. This one here is completely vegan it doesn't have like the bugs in it but um in regards to the type of cake that I'm making the red is just for the little mushroom um, amanita muscata mushrooms so um, I wasn't too phased using just a little bit it's not going to be for too much of the cake but if you feel inclined to leave out red then of course mama do your thing or daddy o whoever is watching this this amount made so much marzipan i was actually incredibly shocked i had so much left over which was great because in case i needed more I had some in the fridge just to go back and like add some more food colouring which I didn't need to which was great. I do have the green food colouring there but I really wanted to make my own because I needed a very very dark green so here you just see me mixing my own and I wanted to include this clip in case you wanted to do the same then you can see actually how much it took for me to do. This is me completely winging it just trial and error. The blue was a bit nerve-wracking because when I was adding this I thought oh my gosh that's not going to mix it's going to stay dark and then it turned out beautiful and then it wasn't even dark enough so I was like okay well let me go back in and see what I can do to actually really darken this thing up because I want it to look like a dark forest. We got a little blip here and a little bit blip there I just kept mixing and it wasn't going darker so I kept boring. Then I got a bit nervous because it's like okay there's a spill and I gotta use it up now. So it's like okay well we'll just commit and see what we end up with and I'll tell you what it was perfect. Like that is the most perfect forest green marzipan I've ever seen. I was really proud of myself. I guess that's the thing with baking is um it's a lot of it's a lot of risk it's a lot of trial and error it does take you out of your comfort zone especially because I did all of this the day before my daughter's birthday so I kind of was under a little bit of pressure of like if I do mess this up 
I am going to have to resort to some form of plan B, which I didn't really have a plan B. Another thing too with um, the brown, with the cocoa powder, I did not need to use a whole heck of a lot at all. You'd only need the smallest amount to make it lovely and chocolatey brown. And now that I have all the colours, I'm going to put them in the fridge for, you want it in the fridge for like 12 hours overnight. And I just used these very easy compostable bags, shoved it in, rolled it up. The stuff that is in the bowls, I just kept in the bowls, in the fridge, and then just wrapped up the rest. Now it's time to get ready for the cake. So I'm actually making two cakes. I'm making the smash cake for my daughter, which are these three, which are going to be stacked on top of each other. Recipe is right there schmack bang on the screen now i'm adding an additional turmeric and cinnamon and with turmeric you really want to add black pepper this is so important i'm kind of shocked that this isn't common knowledge or maybe it is i hope it is um i didn't find this out until i was like a teenager and i'd been using turmeric my whole life and i didn't realize it's actually like a marriage like turmeric works about 50 to 70 percent better with black pepper and which is incredible now this recipe calls for lemon which i thought was really cool i think this was the main reason why i chose this recipe because i thought that sounds interesting let me give that a go and i'll tell you what it is the most foolproof thing in the world especially with this hot water it helps cook the mixture even before it gets put into the oven look at that right there look at that reaction from the lemon and the baking soda like that is a science experiment right there that was so satisfying and then you just want to whisk it all up and get all the bubbles out and then you're on to making sure that your pans are nice and greased and then i use baking paper on the top and then look at this this like face appeared can you see that it's like a Japanese woman come to tell me of the secrets of her grandmother's chocolate cake recipe. I don't know. Maybe it was a sign that I should have used rice flour because I'm not incredibly the best with gluten. It does make my stomach hurt, yeah, but I just love bread so much. This is preheating the oven waiting for it to heat and then this was a proud moment because like I said remember I'm not a baker so at this point it still could have all gone tits up for me so I was really hoping that it was going to be successful because it was starting to get dark at this point too and I had to move on to baking the one big cake that was pretty much for everybody else or the other guests and then the one that's in the oven at the moment I'm stacking up to make just for my daughter. For the larger cake, it is the exact same recipe, just doubled. Everything is doubled from the mini ones, all three mini ones together. This is that exact same recipe times two. It's a big, big cake, this one. Now it's time to bring out the marzipan. So ideally you want to keep your marzipan in the fridge overnight. I had it from this morning to now it is night time and so I definitely had it in for about eight hours maybe even ten and so I was able to take it out it was relatively firm of course true marzipan with egg and flour binds together a lot more kind of like a clay with the coconut flour it is a little bit flaky but it was easy enough to work with if you were going for even more intricate of a design, then you could find yourself getting a little bit frustrated with it. I definitely did what I could in regards to like making leaves going down, but I just had to make do with knowing that I probably couldn't put too much on the sides because it was sort of crumbling for me. But with that being said absolutely love the end result of all of this i could not be more pleased i actually cannot believe i did this remember i am not a baker this is like the most proud baking moment i've ever had in my whole life and i'm so 
thrilled that it was for my daughter's first birthday like this makes me feel so capable and I'm such a good mum I feel so proud of myself and my daughter had the best time she absolutely loved it and everybody who came thank you oh I just I look back on this memory so fondly I'm so glad I filmed this even if it was painstakingly so and I had hours of footage to go through to edit this together. I'm just so glad I've done it. I'm so glad I have this video. Oh my gosh. Who could resist putting in a couple of clips of the cutie actually in the zone? <laughs> Taste for destruction. <laughs> 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 <laughs>